that yeah <laughs> that's cool that's really awesome thanks all right good morning everyone how are you doing this morning yeah, yeah. all right good morning Holly good morning Nathan how are you I'm doing well thank you how yeah are you today? I am so stoked to be here I'm super excited yeah this is our fifth DevOps days DC it's pretty awesome but it's our first of something. Do you know what it's the first of? It's our first. It's our first DevOps Day DC in DC. It's our first DevOps Days in DC. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So, yeah. We, um, we have a, a, a tagline uh, that's not that. There's the Wi-Fi. If you're not on the Wi-Fi, there's the Wi-Fi. There oh, no, we, it's locked. We have a tagline, um, but I realized last night that we picked the wrong tagline for this year. We did. What yeah. should it have been? Well, what, what is our tagline, Holly? Uh, a house divided. Yeah, cannot stand. Cannot stand. Right. That feels very DevOps, doesn't it? A house divided cannot stand. But we're in the Ronald Reagan building. So what do you think our line should have been, maybe? Oh. You don't know? Tear down this wall. <laughs> exactly. Tear down this wall. Well done. Right? <laughs> I think they both work. I think, well. they, I think that would have been a great new tagline on our t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's always year six, right? <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Well, we have this snazzy, you know, five-year yeah. for this year. Amazing, okay. amazing t-shirts. What do you think of the t-shirts? Good t-shirts this year. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. All right. We have a couple of logistics things to run through with you very quickly. Um, Holly, why don't you start with one of them? I don't know which one. I'm going to get our notes, though. Um, so... Here's our taglines, and there's the Wi-Fi. So one of the things is, is here's the Wi-Fi for everybody who wants it. Um, if you're on call. Yeah, speaking of Wi-Fi, who's on call right now? Okay, and the people not in the room are definitely on call. Not only are they on call, but they got paged. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Yes, so um, how many of you uh, think very fondly on your Wi-Fi experience at every single technical conference you've been to? This is no exception. Right, right. So uh, it's going to be fine. But also, if you're not on call, like, be friendly with the Wi-Fi because some of our fellow attendees are, in fact, on call, may get paged. Uh, and if you're stealing all the bandwidth, here's the rule. You have to help them resolve that incident. All right? That's a yeah. good rule, right? That's a great rule. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, what's, what's going on behind you there, Holly? Oh. For folks that haven't seen this before, this is our live captioning. So um, this year we have our live captioning provided by White Coat Captioning. And our wonderful captioner is... Yes, her name is Nancy, and she's hiding back Nancy's in the back. Hiding. But we should give Nancy a round of applause because she is yes. going to be working for us today. <laughs> uh, the most amazing thing about Nancy is something that's amazing about each and every one of you also. Nancy is a human. It's not, this is not AI. Uh, it is someone with super intelligence, for sure, and the, the best typing. Uh, I don't know. Nancy, what are your words per minute? Let's see if she'll answer. <laughs> It's Nicole. not even Nancy, it's Nicole. Oh. I'm sorry, Nicole. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but it's 240 words per minute. 240 words per minute. That is insane. Yeah. Uh, that is amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. How many of you can type 240 words a minute? Yeah. Yeah. It's no. Awesome. I think so. Uh, let's see. How about our Slack channel? Slack channel. We do have a Slack channel. If you aren't in the DC Tech Slack, go to dctechslack.com. Dot com. Dot com and sign up for that Slack channel. Uh, and then there's a DevOps Days DC. Uh, yeah. DCTechSlack.com. There's a DevOps Days DC. Uh, room. Channel, channel, room, whatever these things are called in Slack. I think the Slack is a workspace and then inside it's a channel. Yeah. And you can right. talk to one another. But here's the other amazing thing, and I mentioned this before, you're all humans. So today, you can talk to each other with your mouths. Right. Yeah. I was just going to stand up here and type to everybody. N no, that's, no? Ni that's what Nicole gets to do. That's true. Yes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yes. We get to use our words. 
it's hard. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. But, but fun. But, you know, we, we do this closed captioning for a bunch of reasons. I think, number one, it makes the conference so much more accessible to everyone that's here in this room. The first time I was at a conference and I saw live captioning, I, I stopped and I wondered to myself, I wonder how many people are at this conference that are really taking advantage of this closed captioning. And as I thought and pondered that question, I realized I had stopped listening to the speaker, and then I took advantage of the closed captioning and was able to catch up. And I thought, it's, it's for everyone, it's for every single one of us. And then that we have this beautiful side effect also of having a transcript of everything that gets said on stage. So we can publish that after the fact as well, which I think is really awesome. It's fantastic. We do a couple of other things to make this conference truly acceptable, uh, accessible for everyone. We do. We do. We have, uh, for example, we have our mother's room, um, which is just to the left of registration, and anybody at registration can help you find it if you need the mother's yes, room. Yes, there is a mother's room. There's great signage to get you to the mother's room. Uh, going to the mother's room, though, it feels a little bit like a quest. It's a little, it's a little yeah. Or a little journey. Maybe we can get a badge for it. I made it. Oh, yeah, if you make it to the mother's <laughs> room, you can have a badge, for sure. But uh, the reason that we say it's a journey or a quest is the signs are pretty good, but you'll just keep turning corners, and then you'll walk into another room, and you'll think, is this the mother's room? It doesn't feel like a mother's room. And then you'll maybe see another sign, and then you'll realize then that you're realize. in the right place. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Of course, we also publish a code of conduct. Uh, that's available on the website, devopsdays.org. Go to the DC uh, chapter of DevOps Days, and you will see our code of conduct there. Uh, and we, uh, we publish that code of conduct for a bunch of reasons, but mainly just for all of us to be intentional about how we're treating one another uh, throughout, not, not really just throughout the, the two days of this conference, but certainly throughout the two days of this conference. But, you know, it's kind of good words to live by, honestly. Like, it's a good way to just treat your fellow humans. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Although, speaking of, if yeah. you were uh, somebody that when you signed up uh, does not want your picture taken and you have a red lanyard, please make sure you don't sit in the front. Yeah, so, so if you see someone with a red lanyard, look, we want you to take pictures and, and share your experience with everyone. But if, you've, if you unintentionally get someone with a red lanyard in your picture, please don't post that one on Twitter or, or anywhere else or crop them out of that. That would be really, really beneficial and yeah. helpful. Yeah, we'd really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you have a pin on your shirt? What's I that pin? I do. Mine says she, her, and I prefer purple. That's nice. Mine says uh, he, him. And, it's like done. and the real question I have for you, Holly, that were the next question is, did you go with a pin or a magnet? I went with a magnet uh -huh. on this, and I have a pin on my lanyard. Oh, I too am prone to sticking myself, so I selected a magnet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's way better. So if you did not grab a pronoun uh, sticker, uh, sorry, pin or magnet, uh, they're available at the registration desk, and you can certainly do that uh, and share your preferred pronouns with everyone. Absolutely. Uh, let's see, what else is on my list here? Did, did I have I captured we everything? We did this, this, this. Nah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, so, yeah, yeah. You should talk about that. Yeah. Sure. So directly after the conference, I believe about 5:15 this yeah. afternoon we get to have happy hour. We talked earlier about like using yeah. our lips to talk to people. Yes. Sometimes that can be a challenge. Happy <laughs> hours make that a little bit easier because everybody comes together, stands awkwardly, and then says, so what brought you here today? And then next thing you know, an hour's gone by. and you Conversations happen. Yep, it's great. When, when we talk about standing together awkwardly, uh, I want to share a tip that I learned from my good friend and co-organizer, Jeff Gallimore. And it's a story of foods. And it is the morning, so breakfast foods are appropriate. I want you to think about donuts okay. and croissants. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so when you find yourself out in the area where we're all just hanging out with one another, and you're in a group talking to other people, I want you to just pause for a second, look around your group, and ask, are we being a donut or a croissant? And if you think about it, a donut is a closed-off circle. No one new can join your conversation. But if you always keep it open just a little bit, one end is open in this circle, someone can always join our croissant. That's great. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. Very well. So just remember, be a croissant, be a croissant, not a donut. And if you're like, I'm not down with the French, I prefer donuts, it's cool. Just take a bite out of that donut. All right? <laughs> yeah? Well done. Good. Good. All right. So before we bring out our, our first presenter this morning, I just want to... Um, I want to thank you all for being here. 
As, as, as we mentioned, as Holly mentioned, this is our fifth year of doing DevOps Days DC. Just a quick show of hands, how many of you, this is your first time at DevOps Days DC? Look at that, round of applause for sure. That is fantastic, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We, we are so glad that you are here. One of the things that you will find about DevOps Days is that this conference is different than every other conference. And I know every other conference you've been to, they probably told you that as well, <laughs> right? But we mean it, and they probably told you that as well. But, but look, this is our fifth year, which is a pretty big year for us. Like it's, I don't know, it's, you know, it's one more than four uh, for certain. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it's our first time in DC. It's great. The, the other thing to r recognize, though, is that each and every one of us is here to learn from each other. We have great presentations and great presenters that will be up here on the stage. We have iPhones that are sending emergency alerts about the weather right now. Uh, in case anyone didn't hear it, there's a weather emergency potentially, but we should be safe in this building. Um, yeah, it seems, it seems pretty sturdy, right? Um, I mean, think? we're next to a river during a flood warning. What could go wrong? It's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. But, but look, Five years, this is our fifth year. For many of you, this is your first year here. But I want, I want to just remind everyone, we are all here to learn from one another. We have great presenters, great presentations. And this afternoon, we have open spaces. And if you've never done open spaces, we'll tell you all about it. But trust me, it's amazing. I also want you to recognize that even if this is your first time here or your fifth time here, as a, a participant, and that's truly what you are. You're not an attendee, you are a participant of DevOps Days, you are part of a much larger movement. So DevOps Days itself, the conference series, started almost 10 years ago. In fact, in October, the 10-year anniversary of the first DevOps Days will happen in Ghent, where there's sure to be no emergency weather alerts. <laughs> but there is also water nearby. There is water. So, I mean, there could be flooding, I don't know. Uh, if you've never been to Ghent, uh, I highly recommend it. I'll, I'm going, you can hop on the same flight as me, I'll put you in my bag, whatever. Uh, come over to Ghent. But look, this conference series has been running for 10 years. This year, in 2019 alone, there are over 70 DevOps days that are happening around the world. That is incredible. And so, so we, and you, are all part of this larger movement around how do we get developers and operators working together? How do we get the business aligned? How do we improve sort of all of the systems? How do we bring more humanity to the work that we do? Uh, and that's something to be really proud of. And I encourage you to take this time, the time over the next two days, to meet and converse and learn from one another. Yeah? Yeah. 